Good day, Mama Tibaboon. We are back in our Grimdong walkthrough, and we just arrived at Fort Icon. And today, we are going to unlock a few quests that are related to this fort, and we are going to do them. So let's grab the few notes, and then let's talk to Inquisitor Creed. Good, you've arrived. Things here are in worse shape than I thought. Betrayal, sabotage, call it what you will. We've been attacked from within. The Ethereals, it seems, have gotten a hold of the commander. Besides, based on the reports, Commander Lucius has been sending our men out on futile missions, thinning out the forces' defenses. Then, once the watch was sufficiently weak, he opened the gates, allowing the Ethereals to pour in. It was not counting on human ingenuity, however. Weapons Master Edric collapsed the front gates with some explosives, cutting off the enemy's forces. When we arrived with reinforcements from the south, the coward Lucius fled into the army. Until those gates are clear, we are stuck here. I need you to enter the armor and recover what's left of the heavy explosives. Use them to clear the rubble. But beware of Lucius. He has shed his human disguise in favor of a monstrous form, which I cannot even begin to describe. You will likely have to deal with him to get to the explosives. So we unlock this new quest, the Betrayal of Fort Icon. And so to complete it, we need to go in the Fort Icon Armory and we will need to slay Commander Lucius. That is what we are going to do today. But before going there, let's talk to the Weapon Master. As you can probably guess, the fort has seen better days. It's going to take every able-bodied man and woman to bring Fort Icon back to its former glory. I need someone capable to enter the armory and recover what's left of our scrap and building materials. These supplies were originally designated for Homestead but with the recent attacks, we can't afford to spare any resources. Unfortunately, the possessed commander has fled into the armory, perhaps to finish sabotaging what's left of our arsenal. I hear your experience with dealing with Etails, so I was hoping you could look into this matter. So that's good. At the same time that we are going to go slay Lucius, we are also going to look for the supplies. And before we go there, we have a lot of items in our inventory, so let's sell everything. This has a lot of armor, but not enough resistances. Oh, I remember that badge. We want to keep that. 35% chaos resistance is amazing. This is a similar one that is also good. I'm also going to keep it. All this one deleted weapon, we do not care about them. And this belt is also good. Wow, an even better one. So many resistances on this one. That's not very good. 45% chaos resistance. Well, I think the other one were better. And same thing for this one. So good thing to remember, if you are lacking chaos resistances, you can go back to the tomb of Batolem and farm these badges. It's going to give you a ton of chaos resistance. And so normally all these items are things that we want to keep. Why do I have a pistol here? Yeah, these are all good items. Can I already equip a few of them? What about this belt? We don't need chaos resistance so much anymore. And we are going to encounter ether creatures in this episode, so let's replace it. Also, which one of these badges we want to equip? It doesn't really matter, in fact. One has fire resistance. And the other one has pierce and lining, but we're already high in all these resistances, so both badges were viable. I'm never going to use this jacket. Let's set it. Hmm. Do I want more ether resistance? I think we are fine. We cannot equip the leg plates yet. This belt is less good at what we have. Why did I keep this helm? Let's sell it. Same thing with these shoulder plates. I am not impressed by these boots. Okay, we should be fine. Resistances start to look better. We still need to be careful about ether and bleeding. But at that stage of the game, we should be able to survive. Um, you know what? 
we might not be able to survive. So let's go back to the village crossing. We will craft and swap a few components so that we can improve our ether resistance. I am not very confident to fight Lucius with only 32% of ether resistance. And if I remember correctly, we already have bought the blueprint for the runestone, and runestone is going to give us some ether resistance. So let's have a look here. If I type ether in the search bar, yes, we do have it. So that's going to be very useful for the area we are going to explore today. It's going to raise our ether resistance by 12%. And to craft it, we will need 3 wardstone. And let's see what we need to craft 3 wardstones. Oh, that's easy to craft. We have enough materials. By the way, the wardstone is also something that we could use because it will be increasing our bleeding resistance and we also need that. However, I don't think we are going to encounter bleeding enemies soon, so I'm not going to equip it at the moment. And you know what? I think I'm also going to use this helm. It has much more resistances than the one that we have. It also has more armor and we don't really need chaos resistance at the moment. So now let's go see Darlet. Yeah, I don't like the fact that we need to remove the ectoplasm. We already have trouble with energy management, but oh well, we will need to live with it at the moment. So let's remove the ectoplasm. And then let's put the runestone into the helmet. Nice. 44% is not much, but it's still a little better. Alright, now that we have upgraded our equipment, let's go back to Fort Icon and let's take care of the Fort Icon armory. So to go there, instead of climbing up the stairs, we just need to go east. There will be a few monsters here, but we just need to continue under the gate here. And we are going to arrive to the armory. Let's go inside and as I said earlier, we are going to mainly encounter ether creatures here. And you know what, there was a boss outside, let's take care of him. And it's not very important but I just want to also show you a small area with a guaranteed hidden spot. So if you go there, there is a breakable wall, just behind, as promised, there is a hidden spot. That's not too bad, but that's going to be less good than the leg plates that we already have. And now, let's go back inside. So the fort icon armory is going to be filled with ether creatures. We are going to go first on the right. In this direction we are going to find the supplies. Ooh nice, a dynamite. We want that. And we can already see the supplies on the minimap. They are going to be in this chest. Let's also take the dynamite. And that was simple, right? We have already completed one of the two quests. And now to find Commander Luscious, we just need to go west. Now we continue west here. And now we just need to continue east and we are going to be very soon at Commander Lucius. Let's grab this note. And he's going to be just after this gate. He's going to deal some fire damage, 
but overall it's going to be mainly ether damage. So let's go, let's take care of him. During this battle, we will be very careful about our health bar, because we only have 44% of ether resistance. He has a lot of different ether attacks. He has this one, this kind of ether flamethrower. He also has one where he casts ether rocks from the sky. Here it is. And whoa, he's already dead. I was expecting that it would be more difficult. So we take the heavy explosives. It's going to be useful to open the way to the next area. And this arm is very bad. And this scepter is also bad. And with that, we have finished the Fort Icon Armory. Let's just open this chest. And let's go out of here. So now the next thing that we want to do is going to be to use the explosives to open the passage. It's going to be just east. Here it is. This gate has been collapsed, but it looks deliberate. With enough explosives, the way through could be reopened. And now that it is open, we can go back to the Fort Icon Rift Gate to get the reward to the two quests. Let's first talk to Inquisitor Creed. Prepare yourself. The nightmare. Good work down there. We need to secure a forward position at the Necropolis immediately. We cannot simply march our forces straight into the Necropolis. The cult's minions will descend upon us in force. We will be crushed before we can even get near the Tomb of the Watchers. Instead, we will put your unique skills to use. Make your way into the Necropolis past the plane for strike. Secure the nearest rivet. Once you've done so, all grim will come through with a contingent of our men. The element of surprise on our side, we will strike the enemy from within. So we will need to go to the necropolis, and to go there, we will use the way that we just unlocked. While we are here, let's also assign our points. I'm just going to push the mastery bar. And we are level 40 by the way, so that means that we can start to use augments. If you remember, because we did the quest in the Pine Barrens area, we got this Manticore Venom, and so let's assign it to our weapon. It's going to boost a little of acid damage. I know we are mainly focusing on vitality damage, but Ravenous Earth also inflict acid damage. So even if it's just a little, it's going to help us. And now, we can choose to deliver the supplies to the Black Legion or to Amstead. I'm going to give them to the Black Legion, and the reason to do that is that, in general, it's much harder to raise reputation with the Black Legion than with Homestead, and so by giving it to him, we get some extra reputation for the Black Legion. And by the way, apart from that, there is no other difference in the reward. If you give the supplies to Homestead, you also get the inventory bag, and you also get the 5 scraps. The only difference is about the reputation. So as I said, we are level 40 now, and I just want to check if we are able to buy augments. And no, we can't! We need to reach the next level of reputation to be able to buy them, and so it will need to wait a little. But as you can see, they are going to be very useful, we can get some resistance from them. So that's going to be really nice to cover holes in our resistances. Let me check where we are at with the reputation. Well, we are still far from being honored, it will need to wait a while. After the Bill's Crossing, we also have Homestead and the Rovers. Probably the first one that we are going to unlock is going to be Homestead, because we improve reputation with them by killing beasts, and there are beasts everywhere in this game. So that is with the owner tier, but when we get revered, we will get even better augments. As you can see, this one needs to be level 50 before we can use them, and there are also these ones that can be inserted into armor that can only be used from level 70. Alright, and with that my friends, that's going to be it for today. In the next episode, we are going to go through the Plane of Strife, and we are going to start the Necropolis. I hope that you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe or to add a like, and see ya!